Hey everybody, this morning I want to make for you a carrot muffin type recipe that I'm gonna put in a casserole dish and make bars of so that I can have for breakfast in the morning. I have um, researched a lot of different recipes for breakfast bars and breakfast muffins and I'm not a huge egg fan for breakfast. Um, my husband eats bacon and eggs every day. I'm just not a fan. I can't choke it down. Some days I can just gag thinking about scrambled eggs. I don't know why. It's just it's just a thing. So I look for alternatives like the overnight oats and other things to have a healthy breakfast so that it will sustain me until I eat later in the day. So I thought I'd try this. This is the first for you and me both. So let's get going. All right, I have two cups of cooked and drained carrots that I'm going to put in my Nutribullet. Everything that we're doing today is going to go straight into the Nutribullet and then into the casserole dish. So I'm going to mix my wet ingredients first. So that will be four eggs. And instead of sugar, I'm going to do a little bit of maple syrup. You can actually substitute stevia if you want, but I like maple syrup in my baked goods because I think it just gives it a little bit better flavor. So I'm going to add maybe two tablespoons of that. Not very much. I'm going to go ahead and add about two teaspoons of baking powder. After I added the um, two teaspoons of baking powder, I added two teaspoons of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of vanilla. Do the best you can if you don't have um, the natural vanilla, then go ahead and get the extract. It's not a big deal. Now I'm going to put in a half a cup of rolled oats. I did add, instead of sugar or stevia, I did add about um, two tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm not sure if that got cut off before the video stopped or not, but I'm going to go ahead and add the oats into the mixture. Everything's been mixed in the um, Nutribullet. Now, all right, so it goes back in. Do it. I should be able to pour this mixture right into the casserole dish that I've already got greased up. Now what I'm going to do, like I said, I put it in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. And I'm going to make sure that it cooks evenly. And I'm going to cut it into small squares. So this is going to be my breakfast for in the mornings. I'll probably do two little squares with a little bit of natural peanut butter. The carrot bread is out of the oven. So I'm going to score it and cut squares. And I'm gonna keep those in a container so that I can grab them in the mornings. Um, I think it's gonna be great with a little bit of um, peanut butter. So I'm going to try it now. Just cut the end off since it was not square. Mmm. Y'all. That's good. So what I'm going to do is kind of tastes like a little bit of a, um, a miniature pumpkin pie. I'm not going to lie. It's really moist. You know, it's, it's got that consistency on the inside. It's really moist. So here it is. This is the little carrot muffin or carrot bar, kind of consistency of a of a cake that's gonna be breakfast. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of peanut butter on top and have it in the mornings and that'll give me some good protein and an alternative to some eggs that might just be easier to pack and take on the go. Hope you enjoy.